Hey, happy homebrew Wednesday. Big secure back at you for another homebrewing video. So what we got today? What have I got lined up today? Tell me, tell me, I need to know. Okay then. So we're here in my loft. And we're having a look at my stash. My stash of stuff. What do I have? Let's see. Look at all my stuff that I'm going to be brewing over the, the coming weeks and months. I have to apologise because the, the light isn't that great in here. But uh, I will show you. I will show you the light. There is the light. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That is the light. That's the light I hold my home brew up to. How clear is it? Oh, that's needing more clearing. Look at that. It's not clear enough for me yet. No, no. I could still drink it though, no bother. Let's see if we can find a clearer one. Clear, a clear bottle. This is an Australian pale ale. Don't know if you can see, that's a lot clearer. You can see right through that, mate. Good eye, Cobbers from Australia. Throw another shrimp on the barbie for me. Hey, don't take the mickey out of my Australian chums. Now, have a look at the bottom there. Cider, standard six and a half on the right hand side. Blueberry Bulldozer 8.4 on the left. Second shelf, Pilsner, goes all the way back. Australian Pale Ale on the right. Got some stout here. So this darker stuff, you can't really see it. On the left hand side we've got English Bitter. And that's the Beardy Wah Bitter from the blog, dundeebrewing.wordpress.com. And this that I showed you earlier, that's my extra strong vintage ale. 7.9%. That's some good stuff right there. So, oh look. Chardonnay. Lovely bottles of Chardonnay. Let's have a look at one. Hey, look at that. You can see right through the bad boy, it's cleared down. No sediment whatsoever in the bottom. Good stuff. So, what's coming up over the next little while? We've got various things, I've got various ingredients. We've got a tub of food grade, barley malt extract. Anyone who's thinking about doing some beer kits, food grade barley malt extract is more readily available uh, cheaper than than brewing grade is. And some home brewers will tell you, mm, well, you know, be careful. Because yeah, I, I don't really know what the difference is. I, mean, I think brewing grade is probably slightly more refined. But at the end of the day, if you can get three kilos of this bad boy for £11.51 with free shipping from Amazon, then three kilos of brewing grade is going to cost you three times that. So hey, it's worth a bash. And I've had good results using this in my latest uh, bitter and the stout as well. And I've used food grade in a previous stout and previous other beers too. But it's not any good for lagers or light coloured beers because it's, it's a fairly dark coloured malt. Probably anything above bitter, bitter colour, a, a real ale colour. If you're going to do a lager or a light thing then it's no good for that. But hey, it's uh, cheap, much cheapness. Now let's look in my, my little home brewing shop I've got in the loft. Now... What have we got in my shop? Look, look in the, the corner here. Pardon my dodgy camera work. Here we go. It's a 30 bottle Merlot wine kit. Oh, how did that get in here? I must have got an exceptional deal on that, and I did. Thank you. Okay, going to be doing that. Not sure exactly when. Fairly soon. Got a load of bottles, as you can see. Enough bottles to, to take all the wine that will result, so that's good. So, I'm toying between that and another wine kit, the 30 bottle Merlot. I won't be doing 30, as you know. If you watch any of my other videos, then I usually short brew stuff because I want slightly more alcohol and body to brews, uh, beer and wine included, and cider, etc. So, I'm thinking about doing. Well, we've got a Cooper's European Lager. 
That'll be a, as close to a Bex clone as they could make it, I suppose. Got some Maltos here. Maltos! The Maltese Falcon! It's flying into your brew, man! Got that from my local Chinese market, Matthew's Foods. Uh, I think it was like £1.38 or something. It's good stuff. It's like a, I suppose it's basically an adjunct. It's made out of rice. But it, uh, it's good to, to put in in place of sugar. I've got a real ale. Cooper's real ale kit. There we are. But the one that I'm thinking about doing. Now look, oh look. Cerveza. Hey, I say. You want to drink my cerveza? You come into my bar, you drink my cerveza. I'm thinking about doing this one. Dark Ale. Cooper's Dark Ale. Ah, see if the can's bashed, it means that the, the beer will taste even better. There you are. Yeah, I'm gonna I've heard really good stuff about this. I've got two of these, actually. Um, I'm thinking about brewing up one of those. Next. I've also got various ingredients. You've seen my lager malt in the last video. Lager malt! Lager malt, a lot of you... <laughs> Let's see, a Londoner accent. Cool, Gavna! Lager malt! <laughs> Apples and pears! No, that's a crap London accent. Okay, so here we go, amber malt. That's for like bitters, uh, real ale maybe. <clears throat> you might get away with it in the draft, I don't know. You could shove it in the dark, anything darker than a bitter or a real ale. Uh, you know, it's not going to contribute to the darkness, but it would certainly contribute to the flavour. And it wouldn't detract from the colour. As it would if you put it into a lager or something. What else have we got? We've got some Cooper's carbonation drops. Now I wouldn't normally buy these, but I got a really good deal. So I, I bought a few bags. Really pretty good results actually. One for standard in a 500ml bottle, two for fizzy, so I'll probably shove two in the lager I just did per bottle. Got uh, my lager malt and the Aramis hops there. Got some Cascade, Cascade hops in this tub here. Let's see. Um, so I've got an English bitter, a couple of European lagers, a real ale, a couple of dark ales, a draft, a stout, a cider. Uh, there's the cerveza. Cerveza. Put the lime in the cerveza. Um, and over here, I've also got, again, pretty black, so I don't know if you can see. I've got some Cooper's Light Dry Malt. There we go. And I've got more Brew Enhancer too. The Enhanced Brew Enhancer. And much mentioned, but never before seen, well, at least on my videos, Brew Enhancer 1. There we go. Never ceases to amaze me how Cooper's think that we need it to be that bloody simple. I mean, look, it's just dextrose and maltodextrin. Why they can't just say it's dextrose and maltodextrin, I don't know, but... Anyway. Also, look what I got recently. It's a wine corker. Lever action. Put your corking in there. Wet it a little bit. And then you just push down both levers, make sure the this part is on top of your wine bottle, and it forces the, the cork down and uh, constricts it, compresses it through that hole, ends up in the neck of your bottle, and then it expands after that, and hey presto, one corked bottle of wine. So, oh, you saw my hand for a second there. So, here we are, in the loft, it's homebrew Wednesday. I have got a home brew, but I haven't cracked it because, well, let's face it, I mean, I'm in the loft. It's a little difficult to climb down a ladder when you've got a glass of beer in your hand. But I'm gonna, I promise, I'm going downstairs to drink this right now. C'est très bon, merci, oui, ah, yes, we could, tac, da, bing, bang, bang. And that is my home brew Wednesday update.